Okay, today we're going to be seeing if we can make water waterproof. So a few videos ago, I did a video where I sprayed Never Wet on sodium to see if it could repel water long enough so it didn't explode in the water. But in the comment section, I got a lot of comments asking what happens if you spray Never Wet on water itself? Can you actually make the water become water repellent? This Never Wet is pretty cool stuff. It's called a super hydrophobic coating. So you can see here when I just spray it on a paper towel, how that paper towel now becomes super hydrophobic. So water just beads up on the surface. And when you spray it on something, there's two steps to it. There's the base coat and then the top coat. The top coat is what is the hydrophobic substance. The base coat just helps the top coat stick to the material. So we're gonna start off with the base coat. We're gonna spray it on as good a layer as we need and then we're gonna let it sit for around 30 minutes. Okay, let's start off with the base coat. You can see it kind of forming on the surface there. There's a coat, but it doesn't look like it's covering the full surface. Even when I put a lot on. Okay, we're gonna let this dry for around 30 minutes and I don't know how much drying is gonna be going on because it's sitting on top of water, but let's see what happens after 30 minutes if we can actually put the top coat on. Okay, it's been a half hour now. Here's what the top coat looks like. Looks like just in the center there, there's kind of a spot where it didn't spread to. But overall, it looks like it coated the surface. Okay, here goes the top coat. Okay, now that we put the top coat on, let's go ahead and let it dry for around 12 hours and see what it looks like after. While we're waiting for this to dry, this may seem like a really dumb question, trying to see if water can become waterproof. But if you think about it, the implications could be awesome. Think about if you're trying to deliver some medicine to a part of the body in a high concentration. If that medicine dissolves well in water, then you can't really deliver it that far because as soon as you take it into your body, it just dissolves into the water in your stomach, it dissolves throughout your body, and you can't deliver it where you want to deliver it. But if you could dissolve it in some water and make that water kind of a hydrophobic pocket, then you could deliver it where you want it to go in the body in a high concentration. And scientists have actually done that with something called a liposome. Liposomes have an aqueous center, so a center that's made of water with a lipid bilayer around it. A lipid bilayer is like two layers of soap together. A soap molecule has a hydrophobic end and a hydrophilic end. So if you get a bunch of them together, you'll get a sphere that will pack around a sphere of water. And it makes that sphere of water hydrophobic. And the water that's in the center there is pretty protected because water that's around it can't get through that lipid bilayer because it's touching another hydrophobic surface. So when this drop of water surrounded by the lipid bilayer is in other water, the two waters can't mix together because they both are seeing the heads of these hydrophobic surfaces so they can't diffuse through each other. So if you put in the center drop, this aqueous solution in the center, some medicine, even though it's at a high concentration in there, it can't dissolve out of the drop inside of there. And so you have this hydrophobic drop of water. But besides liposomes, there's an even easier thing to make that is basically hydrophobic water or waterproof water. And that's your own cells because your cells are also contained within a lipid bilayer. And so the water inside of our cells are protected from the water outside of our cells because of that lipid bilayer. So basically, we're made of waterproof water. Okay, so I think it's finally dry now. You can see that there's kind of this jello-y substance over the top of it. That's the Never Wet. So in order to test this, I've dyed some water green so you can see it. Actually, I accidentally dropped a drop right there, and so it soaked in when it wasn't dry yet. But let's see now that it's completely dry, if I can get Never Wet to waterproof water. Okay, here we go. Let's see if this works. Yeah, it beads up on there. So it looks like it worked best on the edges where I had most of the Never Wet. So it does work, but basically what happens is 
The only reason it stays hydrophobic is because it has this covering over the top. Let's take it off and see what it looks like. <laughs> so this is the reason why it's hydrophobic because it basically just has a layer of plastic over it now. So when you spray Never Wet on your clothes or any other thing that you're trying to waterproof, it puts this thin coating over it and this is the waterproof part. So in order to waterproof water, all you do is cover it with a plastic. So of course you can waterproof it with Never Wet, it just doesn't work very well at all. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video's out. And remember to check out theactionlab.com to check out my new subscription box. The first one's gonna be delivered pretty soon now. So if you haven't purchased it yet and you wanna do your own experiments in your own house, head over to theactionlab.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.